Well, what it actually is, <coughs> is um, a junior engineer model SE100 steam engine made by uh, the KJ Miller Corporation of Chicago, Illinois. And these were made, I think, um, mid-1940s through to the early 1950s. And they have some rather unusual features. Uh, first of all, um, th this hasn't got all the parts with it, but um, the this structure here, the engine could be configured as either beam engine, which is what it is here, uh, a horizontal uh, engine, or a vertical engine. So you could you could literally this is why there are all these extra holes uh, in 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 the base. You see that? See, so that you can reconfigure it to 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 be different types. The other interesting thing about this engine, it has a rather unusual heater, and as it happens, it's not bolted down the, the boiler. This is not metal. This is some sort of ceramic uh, material. We we'll just lift that off, and this is the heating element here. Um, these two carbon blocks literally sit in the water and the water forms part of the circuit and it conducts and then heat and then the water heats up. Um, quite an interesting method. Apparently it will heat the water very, very quickly. And of course the other thing is as soon as the boiler runs dry, it's, it, it stops conducting. So it's, it's quite a nice safety feature. I think this bolt that's been put in the top is not original because I think originally there was a, a knurled screw. And obviously this would have had some sort of gasket on it. Um, so that you, you, you this, this becomes this becomes watertight. So this is going to need some work done to it to get it going. But um, ever since I saw one of these online, I've been uh, intrigued by them. So when this one came up, um, this has come from um, Lebanon, Ohio, in the States. I couldn't resist it. So uh, we've got a bit of work to do, but hopefully we'll have this running in the not too distant future. Okay, <coughs> well, there are a couple of small issues with the uh, with the boiler. One of the uh, carbon blocks is cracked, so I'm attempting to repair that. And obviously, I've still got to reattach the uh, cables which provide the power, and also create a gasket for the top part of the uh, boiler where it makes with the bottom part. But I thought we'd see if we could get the uh, the little engine running on compressed air. So, and it seems to work fine. about 15 to 18 psi and that's just a little um this here is just a little uh, airbrush compressor um, but there's obviously nothing wrong with that 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 works absolutely fine um needs a bit of a clean up and there's some slot in some of the uh, the joints but uh, no spray out of the box effectively so that's pretty damn good now all we've got to do is get it running on steam Well, <clears throat> here we are back again with the uh, Junior Engineer 100 model steam engine and <clears throat> I've had all sorts of fun and games with this. <clears throat> um, since we last saw it, uh, I've given it a good old clean up and I've made a new uh, proper top for the, for the boiler. Um, it turned out that uh, one of the carbon blocks uh, that makes up the heater uh, had a crack in it. Uh, and I tried to repair this and had a go with it and uh, yes it heated the water but it, it wasn't gonna ever gonna get it boiling um, so I thought okay fine we'll try an alternative method so I removed the original carbon block carbon blocks and replaced them with some new ones made out of some uh, electric motor brushes um, that was a complete failure it didn't work at all uh, <coughs> so now we're on to uh, <laughs> attempt number three to get this working and what I've done this time is, I'll just take the boiler off. Um, I've fitted a little flue tube, uh, basically that little brass tube which uh, exits out the bottom there. And I've got a um, small rod type heating element, which uh, you can get these from China, all different sizes. Uh, I've used these before in... Uh, I use them in. Uh, yeah, I think one of the Jensen's I use one of, one of these in. A uh, much larger one than this. And this basically will slide up into the uh, flue tube like that. And then hopefully heat the water. Um, 
so this is my <laughs> third attempt uh, at getting this going uh, and uh, we're about ready to try it so um, let's see if this works Yes, it's actually running on Steam! Uh, not for long. Yeah, but it was running. You did actually see that? It was actually running on Steam. I can't believe it. <laughs> Once it gets going, it actually runs quite well. You have no idea how, how excited it is to actually see it running on Steam, it's amazing. Well, I'm not going to let it run too long because the boiler capacity is very, very low and um, uh, I don't want it to boil off. Turn the power off. There you go, the Junior Engineer SE100 actually running on Steam. <laughs> That's amazing. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks very much for watching.